Welcome to the final part of the first spring. Let's have some animal sauce. Oh, what's your favorite sauce for animals? I'm a standard ketchup dude. Oh, I like a I like a rich gravy. I would make a gravy, but all the animal I have is just like chicken patties. In this part of America, we like barbecue sauce in our animals. Mmm. I like an egg the size of my torso. With barbecue sauce on it. <laughs> Speaking of which, our chicken's finally fully grown up, so I'm gonna be oh. able to get eggs every day. Except for this one, I need more eggs. I like to think the descriptors aren't for the egg. That is the egg of a good chicken. <laughs> it's a good duck, man. Nah, just, just decent. But it's weird, because he's not even dressed. Oh, Ducks don't wear pants, we know this. No, I mean dressed like covered in orange sauce and deep fried. Oh, There's a good sauce. There's a good animal sauce. I think this is our first time using the watermill, so let's actually cook something with wheat. Uh, I think I'm gonna make a cake. I'm gonna make something. I mean, yes, butterflower milk would make a cake. No, it's just bread. Okay. Use bread for a lot of recipes. It's gonna do the Harvest Moon thing where there's like 36,000 different styles of sandwich. <laughs> Butterflower will make a pie crust. I think there's that many different types of pie in the game, so... <laughs> Look at this. The upgrades for the cooking utensils are just the same thing, but with a different color. Ooh, I don't know. I kind of want that cute cutting board. <laughs> There's a hell of a market for cute cutting boards, man. On what planet is a cast iron stove environmentally friendly? <laughs> you can't even use it as an oven. It's just something for in your house. And we got more treasure maps. Getting them all. And we can get one of the treasures immediately. It's at that specific spot on the bridge. It's a paradox. It's a green. <laughs> Something wedged between the slats of the bridge. Quick reach down, Finn. <laughs> nice stack of fridges, man. Yeah, just shove them in a the corner. So I can have as much space as I need. You appear to have a loathe showroom in the corner of your house. <laughs> <laughs> it's the internal logic of Harvest Moon. If you put enough fridges together, you get a walk-in freezer big enough for a spherical cow carcass. I have a boiled egg. He really likes boiled eggs. Here's some protein. Well, I mean, you saw he was trying to get swole. Yeah. That's why you need the walk-in freezer. You can hang up a, a cow carcass and he can come punch it. <laughs> oh, hey, Best. Maybe you'd like to buy a fedora. <laughs> Looks like I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I think you'll find, ma'am, that is a trilby. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. I'm a piggy. You know, I think it's about time I actually bought an outfit. I've been wearing the same thing this entire LP. What's in this year? Black Victorians, apparently. Comes with boots and a choker. Yeah, it's an oddly revealing outfit for this game. Oh, that's great! So Best is gonna go all gothic Lolita? That's wonderful. Yeah, surprisingly. So I got a piece of bread. And you remember that was, I think, what the elephant wants. The elephant from the circus. And the elephant's heading out here. Silent elephant. 
completely silent, no sound effect. It occurs to me sometimes just how cheap this game really is. Y you can insert your own backstory, like maybe Trunks is an international assassin hiding out at the circus. There's 17 dead bodies inside that thicket. <laughs> Trunks comes out dressed as a milkman for some reason. <laughs> Quick, turn around. Let's see that barcode on the back of your big bald elephant head. I'm all ready. Please don't talk to my wife. I wonder what his trick is. Is it shooting something with the silenced pistol? I don't know. I don't think we'll find out until winter, though. Because the hippo requires me to cook something that I can't really cook until winter. But we're back in the mines, and here's something that you can do with upgraded hammer. There is always the concern that you're going to get caught by a poison gas or something, but if you charge up the hammer swing, you can destroy the rocks from a distance, so at least you'll have a bit of space in case you do end up hitting something. The problem is, there will also be cases you'll find patches of healing gas, and those disappear really quickly, so... You need to be vigilant. Where's this one? The problem is I had the map of Splash, which was not the map for that place, so I wasted my time. It's never a waste of time if you have an adventure and get a bunch of glittery crap. Eh, maybe. It is 10 minutes until the next day, though. Oh, bummer. At the very least, there's nothing like continuing fatigue. Unless you've actually gotten the exhaustion status effect from gas, you don't actually have any consistent fatigue. So, like, I could just take a bath, get my stamina up, and then since the day rolled over, I could take a bath again, and then I'd basically be fine. Also, I can ride Susie now. Yes. Oh! So cute! That happens when you get your barn animals up to five hearts. I imagine you have to, you have to get them up to ten hearts to make riding them a good idea, but... What the hell, let's do it anyway. If you get them up to ten, can you marry them? <laughs> no, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird, never mind. Well, look at that. I feel like if I hadn't gotten the speed up homebrew code in there, that would be faster than me running, but it's not. Also, get used to me just randomly cutting back to cooking and I've got a new recipe. I am going to show off all the recipes, but I'm not going to linger on them too much. I didn't mean to do that. Just eat it right in front of him. I got you a present. It's getting to watch me eat this mushroom. Your present was delicious. Happy fucking birthday. Can't give a gift to the Harvest Goddess, though. Not until I've found all the Harvest Sprites. The frame rate was much better on a close-up. I upgraded the axe. I need to get that upgraded, if I'm going to upgrade my house at all. So by now you've noticed, this part has an interesting title. And it's because of this. Now that we can ride Susie, we can actually practice riding her in a race. Aside from transportation, this is the other purpose for being able to ride your animals. Ostriches, sheep, cows, that's crazy. This is a little hard to control. You have to hold the controller sideways. But you also need to move it forward and backward and lean it. And it's, it's hard to figure out what any of it does until you've done a couple races. No good emotion controls. It's never a bad idea. 
Oh, bless her, Susie's trying. But look at that sheep! Oh, man! <laughs> that sheep is smaller than its rider. That's unbelievably cute! Prance, you little sheepy! See, here's the problem with the race, though. This is as much of a view as we get for the first part of the race, and for when we get to that other side. The camera stays in this position. So we get to see very little of the upcoming track. But there are items on the track. We need to run over the crops and the medicine in order to speed up and maintain Susie's stamina. And if we, like, if we hit a poison mushroom, that slows us down, obviously. But you have very little time to react and very little distance you can cover in one position, especially since the controls are bullshit. So the mechanics of the race just sort of work against you. I'm less excited than I thought I would be, and also I don't really like the thought of best just whipping the shit out of little Susie. Been so loyal. She doesn't deserve this. Ooh, shiny carrot and a shiny strawberry. I missed both of them. Very nice. Some good dodge in there. I'm trying to figure this out, but I keep rubbing Susie up against the fence. Maybe she just has an itch. I think maybe Susie's trying to scrape off this horrible primate who's whipping her butt. Yeah, the medicine speeds you up. And feeding her meth. <laughs> it's cow meth. That's right. <laughs> it's dairy meth. No way, little sheepy. Get on up. You know, I wonder if I end up getting full last. I think I do. Yeah, but I'm back in fifth place. But the only reason I wasn't so far behind was just because of that medicine. Well, that was sad. Well, Susie, you're an embarrassment and you're tonight's dinner now. Who wants Susie chops? It is a little amusing that the ostrich, which you think would be innately faster than everything else, can still lose. Uh, ostriches don't take too kindly to having people on their backs. They also don't take too kindly to people... ...and their backs. ...or anything else. They are just ornery little cusses, aren't they? They're mean. And they are stabby on a bunch of ends. Yeah, this shit gets old. Upgrade your axe before you waste any time on this. Let's actually look at our new outfit. Yeah. Hunt. A lot more revealing than I expected. Biscuits, what? <laughs> that is, um... What is this shit? You look like the villain in a line dancing movie. <laughs> What? Yeah, you know, like, like, breaking, except with line dancing, you know? So you throw down achy, breaky heart, and then Best all rolls up with her fucking Victorian goth rancher thing, just like, I'm gonna show you how we line dance around here. And then, you know, the, the hero's gotta train up. Anyway, the point is, that's villainous. <laughs> it's a nasty suit. I don't like it. That's fine, I go back to the classic outfit. Of course. I mean, you could wear the gothic outfit if you want, you know, if you needed to, like, infiltrate some kind of cadre of steampunk terrorists or something. <laughs> I think I'll try it again when I get some more accessories to go with it. You should get a big black cowboy hat. And a riding crop. And then you get the tiny little black top hat that just pins into your hair. Oh, that's perfect. Still need a cornmeal. Don't need cash, though. 
So something I haven't really pointed out yet, I feel like I did when I went back and re-recorded some stuff for the first part. But in this game, a season does not last 30 days, it actually lasts 28. It's four straight, exact seven-day weeks. So we're actually very close to the end of the season now. Wow, imagine a year of his of of uh of Februarys. Yeah. And we're recording this in February. Also look at how much fucking gobies I have. That is a lot of tiny fish. Wait a second, it is Feb Blueberry. That's wonderful. I mean February. Oh, it took me effort to wave. Oh, what's up, G? You want to embarrass yourself in front of people? No way. Do we actually have to dress up like an animal? <laughs> no. Yo, but what if? What if we dressed up like Susie, and we dress Susie up like Best, and it would be a little, little reversal thing? Like, ha! Huh, look, look at this cow who thinks she's a farmer. <laughs> Spherical farmer. That's right. And skinny cow. <laughs> a spherical farmer. It works for Hamilton. Look at him. Look at that spherical <laughs> little man. And it's sort of like we don't even need to go to a place to be told that it's been upgraded. That's why there's a, a postal service. You know the interesting thing about Mayor Hamilton? His circumference is also derived from pi. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that Oh that <laughs> That one's free. You guys can you guys can use that. <laughs> you know what, Skippy? I'm just glad you're proud of yourself. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> Unlike Hamilton, who's more of the ashamed category. <laughs> oh boy. It's okay, I'm sure the comments in the thread will will vindicate my excellent joke. I feel like <laughs> Hamilton would be fine with his weight if he hadn't gotten caught in the fireplace. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> what a dipshit. Oh no. I made my sheep naked and I think that made her upset. It's hard to tell. Well, yes. It's like, that's the only Harvest Moon game I've ever played where that happened. So I feel like that's the case. Again, the wool will only come back every third day. So it's, it's not going to take too much of a hit, but I guess that's a thing. Wow, I really love this. <laughs> I'll just throw this brimming cup of tea in my pocket. <laughs> well, that'll wake you up better than any coffee. <laughs> I'll tell you. Oh, my lap! I hear there will be a pet contest. Ooh, like I don't have one. Who's best at petting? Ooh! Like a bunch of cats all lined up. You just gotta gotta pet him best you can. That's right. I'm practicing right now. I'm not even kidding. You can only pet them on the belly when they trust you. And even then, sometimes not. This is the only way I can get my cat to not rub his face on my microphone. <laughs> is to very aggressively pet his face. Now, mermaids, on the other hand, I spend a lot of time with mermaids. Thank you, Maya. Ooh. Animals are cute. You said it. <laughs> Belabored it, you might even say. <laughs> more clothes! Shopping is fun. Do you have any more wacky goth bullshit? I'm really feeling that. Something with extraneous gears and pipes on it. Let's go full steampunk. Do you have something with goggles? This is an anime, right? I feel like there are goggles. Of course there are goggles.
I mean, if you played as a male, you can't attain rank 10 shonen hero without goggles. <laughs> Green normal. Safari? Safari is actually a cute outfit. A, f a formal dress. Yes. Why the heck not? I don't know why it's called that, because I feel like it's the most childish looking outfit. We don't get a black cowboy hat, but we do get tan and brown cowboy hats. A badass fire bandana as you ride around on your motorcycle. I.e. my cow. Uh, name the next cow Harley. Aw, oh, so cute. There are a lot of freaking sunglasses. Oh, no way. Are those novelty glasses Groucho glasses? I i don't know, actually. Oh, man. I feel like they're just the anime spiral nerd glasses. Oh, what a pity, because I would really be on board with farming 10 hours a day, wearing a big fake nose and mustache. What I find really funny, you can buy an eye mask, a.k.a. a blindfold. And you could just run around town completely blind. Now that's shonen as hell. So here's something slightly creepy. You can keep track of people. So you will always know where they are. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I mean, don't you put tracking GPS chips in all of your produce? Oh my, you had the carpenter chipped? You think all these gifts are just to be nice? No, man. Holy crumbs! No. There was a tracking device in the shit that you fed him. Yeah. So you gotta keep feeding him once it cycles through his digestive system. You might as well just give him an ear tag, honestly. <laughs> like, hold still, man. <laughs> no, you mean an ear ring. Yeah! A friend ear ring. That's right. Well, no, that's what the herbal tea is for. You get him to go to sleep and then... chunk. Tag him and release him back into the wild. Yep. No, no, you got drunk. You gave that to yourself. Ew. No, come on. No, this is a little strange. It's not a food recipe. This is how you make perfume. With a blender. With a blender. Yeah, that's how it works. For being the king of the multitasker, Alton Brown did not teach me this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say. So what, if I wanted to make Chanel number five, what do I throw in there? Just like, caraway seed and gasoline? <laughs> well, you need at least one flower in there. If I want to smell like fucking last call at a community bar. What's a little random is there are special colored perfumes for specific types of flowers, but it's not exactly clear which ones will make what, but you need four of those specific types of flowers. And there are decent perfumes, and I think a special perfume for if you get enough really expensive flowers in there. But I haven't managed that yet. Either way, we're at the Animal Festival, one of our first real festivals in this LP. Don't expect much out of me this year. Poison yourself. Hey! Yeah, there you go. Slap its face with it. I think it's true that you can really communicate with animals. But I don't think it's anything special. I think it's just the animals are like really simple. So you can just suss it out. Like you look at a guinea pig and 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 basically even odds, they just want to eat. Like if they're looking at you, they expect you to have have a little something something. One nice thing about the festivals, there are a lot of shop stalls set up, and you can get some pretty rare items here, especially ones that you need for requests. For example, if my cow hadn't given me perfect milk, which I could turn into perfect butter, I could have just bought some here and then given that to the wizard. So cheap. Well, with the amount of money that I have. Keep in mind, I'm exploiting the game, willingly and proudly. 
No, that's that's how you play, though. Like, you, you gotta exploit Harvest Moon, otherwise you're just mucking around. Oh, yo, I'd like a pancake. Oh, yo, I'd like to get a picture of me as a cow. I think I'm gonna try. Oh, man. Wait a sec, no, I'm not actually at this festival. Sorry, I'll stop asking for stuff. Ooh, buy me one of those! <laughs> buy me one of those! <laughs> <laughs> of course, by myself. Oh, I can't bring Susie along. Why can't I use the thing? Wait, what? There was a cutout right there, man. Nope. Couples only. Ah. Oh. I guess. You're sad and alone. You can't have your picture there. Look at all these fucking pictures I've taken. <laughs> this was my spring in a nutshell. Me dicking around. Don't think I didn't see the picture of the pig shooting flowers. <laughs> I was... <laughs> oh, that little guy. <laughs> Let's do some contests. Let's lose some contests. Is more accurate, yeah. Come on. Susie's a shoe in for the swimsuit competition. <laughs> And the singing contest. Oh, she's like an angel. I never thought I'd see a cow do a perfect impression of Diana Ross in the Supremes, but here we are. <laughs> Gee, I wonder. Oh man, Egg Slave is furious. <laughs> uh, but I mean, she's a duck, so that's fair enough. Kind of their default state of being. This is some very reverent music for this. And now we worship at the holy altar of the cow. Everybody, moo with me. Ta-da! <laughs> what a little cutie. Big fluff, buddy. Bongo. Ah, what a little cutie. Someone's been putting eyeliner on that cow. Oh, man, what a little cutie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So this contest is just, here's my animal. Hey, what a good cow. Now decide which one of them you like best. Why is Bo one of the judges? Why are any of them judges? What do any of them know about animals? Bo thought that there was food. Hey, wait a minute, this is fixed. I saw Kane bribing the mayor behind the shed with a sea urchin. <laughs> Shot ourselves in the foot, man. Man, I failed spectacularly. Wow! But look at what you get when you get first place. Wow! Jeez! That's a lot of food. Well, you know, I sure hope that you enjoy your... Your subpar malnourished cow, best. Yeah, I feel like embarrassing myself one last time. Oh, goody. I'm less worried about you and more about Susie's self-esteem. And her rump. Yeah. Give it your best, you skookum little choocher. Well, I mean, go figure, I don't win a great big animal contest when I've only had a cow for less than a month. And you're racing against horses. And the fastest sheep in the world. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? That sheep is going places, so never mind. <laughs> she had spirit. She didn't have stamina or strength. You know, I'm not sure that smacking Susie on the ass is actually speeding me up at all. It's draining my stamina, but I don't think I'm going any faster. I think it might just be making you feel better to abuse the little sweetie. Maybe Susie likes it. 
Don't shame. Yeah. Yes. But that's the kind of thing that they tell you about, like, branding cows. Like, oh no, their skin's so thick, they don't mind. But then, like, what if- what if you're just saying that because you're a farmer? You know? Well, I've yet to hear a cow offer a dissenting opinion. Yeah, this hippo doesn't mind getting shot in the face, its skin is so thick. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I made third place just by chugging drugs down my cow. Yeah, you really gingered up, little Susie. Oh, do you know the- do you know the origin of the phrase, to ginger up? Oh, yes I do, but please. Mm, enlighten mm. everyone, because it's horrible. Well, for those of you who don't know, if you wanted a racehorse to go a little quicker back in the day, what you do is you take uh, take a piece of ginger and you'd stick it up the horse, and it would make him run faster. Because I don't know if you've ever stuck ginger in your bee hole, but whew, I tell you, <laughs> now that that is better than coffee. <laughs> How did I know that's where that story was going? I don't know. Maybe do you watch QI? I do, but I don't remember that episode. Oh, that's where I got it. I found it quite interesting. <laughs> I got it from a Discworld novel and then a cooking podcast about ginger. Holy crumbs, which Discworld novel? Nightwatch. Oh, really? Hmm. Yep. Well, I, I managed third place at least, which isn't so bad. I did get a reward. I got three pieces of shining carrot. I'm not going to give that to the horse. I don't have a horse, so... But I can't use that for some recipes. You should give it to Susie to make up for the inevitable crash after the amphetamines. Yeah, she's she's gonna need a chaperone. Poor little cutie. You better make sure she doesn't swallow her tongue. That was cough medicine. We basically just chugged her full of drank. <laughs> it was drank! Is Susie robo-tripping? Oh, she's tussing! Does anybody know what robo-tripping is? <laughs> Susie does. Oh. She's the type to bring it up as a hobby in a job interview. Like, so what do you do, Miss Susie? <laughs> I like to read, I like to cook, I like to chug a Robitussin like it was water. <laughs> I abuse legal substances. I have problems. <laughs> Moo! <laughs> Vover, I'm gonna puke. Oh, <laughs> poor little cutie. Welcome to the workforce. We'll make sure to get every ounce of productivity we can out of you and then discard you by the wayside. It's a hard life for a single cow in the city. I'm gonna make it after all. Ew. <laughs> I'm gonna make it after this. <laughs> oh, poor Susie's gonna be in the gutter. You gotta bring that cow up right, Thornbrain. <laughs> Look, she's at five hearts. <laughs> How much better you want me to do? She, I... Not just love. <laughs> she needs positive role models. Not someone who's bilking the fish market for all it's worth. That's right. Somebody who's selling gobies by the pocket full on the street corner so that you can afford shining pancakes or whatever the fuck. It's the worst. <laughs> they call it shining pancakes. <laughs> What you don't know about it could be killing your cow. You know, what I'm doing is commerce. <laughs> I'm buying from a supplier and then making my own product and selling that. Yeah, okay, they're Tony Montana. <laughs> Do you have to charge VAT on that? <laughs> well, yeah, that's how I make the profit. There's no government here and no taxes. There's a mayor who gets stuck in holes and what's he going to do about it? Animal Parade, Ron Paul 2012. <laughs> Shyster Parade. Oh, no! I didn't know you were a Shakespeare fan. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> now, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that Shyster was the uh, somewhat comically villainous Jewish lawyer in a, in a Shakespeare comedy. No, Shylock. Son of a biscuit. Shyster is a word, not a name. Hang on. I'm looking this. Son we're all looking it up. Hey, do me a favor and edit this out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Son of a hot biscuit! Origin German. Scheisser. 
a worthless person. Fuck, I'm stupid. All right, fine. Whatever. Whatever. You win this round. <laughs> Here's me trying to be erudite, but now I gotta go fucking chug Robitussin with a cow. <laughs> Next time, Summer. See you all there. Jeez. Oh.